Hi, this is Shana, and this is another Pick a Card reading. This is called Abundance Blessings Coming Your Way. Uh, last Friday on the 12th of August, we had the new ancient Egyptian year, so the rising of Sirius that actually marks the start of the floodings of the Nile that always signified abundance and fertility. And on that note, I just decided or felt inspired to start this reading. And so to see what is your abundance, what kind of abundance is coming your way, what kind of blessings are coming your way. So as usual, we have three piles, this time without stones. We just have the cards here for you to choose, uh, choose from. So we have here a pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So take your time to choose your pile. You can stop the video if you like, and I will see you in the next couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So let's take the cards. And the first card will tell us what area of your life you're going to feel this abundance or these new blessings and the first thing we have is the wheel of fortune number 50 so i would say that your luck is changing and you could be in more than just one field or one than just you know more than just one area of your life so your luck is changing you can, there can be a a radical change in your life for the better it can even be that for instance you win money or you get like um, out of the blue opportunity. So it's like a starting over because you see here, we have here Aries. So it's like the calendar is starting over. So you're really getting a second chance of life. You're starting over and you're being blessed by luck in this case. This is just wonderful. Let me put it here to the top. Let's see what the other cards have to tell us. So I'll do it differently. I'm sorry, I didn't choreograph didn't do any choreography for this, so I'm kind of improvising here. So, what are your first cards? We have here, from the Lanamar deck, we have the Whip. Then this is number 11. Then we have the Mice, number 23. We have the Tower, number 19. And we have the Sun, number 31. Now, these are really good news because, as you see, we have kind of negative cards over here with the whip, with the mice, with the tower. So this symbolizes you've been going through a lot of difficulties and this with the sun, this will start to subside. And here we also have the sun. So it's like you're being blessed by the sun. You're being blessed by light. You're being blessed by positivity. So all these um, difficulties that have been troubling you, and it can even be really like uh, upsets. Um, it's like it, there's always like a little stone in the system, you know, keeping it to move from moving forward. What I have here is like maybe you've been feeling isolated. Maybe all your efforts seem to be doomed or seem to, you know, always find a lot of opposition. And it's almost sometimes here with the mice, I guess you sometimes may have the feeling that you're being sabotaged, that someone is making your life more difficult on purpose right? And it's like a punishing. And this here could even be auto-sabotage or self-sabotage, that you are putting yourself in your own way. Maybe for some of you, it could even be out of guilt or out of not feeling worthy. You know, you're isolating yourself, you avoiding your destiny. This is what I'm getting like as a message. It may seem a bit harsh or a bit... Um, yeah, blunt. But the good thing about it is, is the sun. Sun is bringing clarity. So sun is bringing a lot of insights to you and is allowing you to see things as they really are in a more positive way and actually showing you an ocean of possibilities. It's like showing you that your horizon is wide open, that you don't have 
to isolate yourself, that you're not forsaking, you're not forgotten. Actually, you can do whatever you want with your life. So again, you're having this second chance, this second go. Then we have here the Ace of Cups. Yes. Then we have the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Wow. So you are healing a lot of confusion in your life. There is like a, a bit of uncertainty, not really knowing where to go, not even really knowing who you are sometimes, what it's really your worth or you, what you should be doing in your life or really feeling, again, feeling held back. And it's not even like by other people, although in some cases it, it must be, it can be the case that other people are holding you back, but it's mainly you holding yourself back is the feeling that I have here. Like I was telling you, the self-sabotage, you punishing yourself for something. Maybe you're not even aware of it, but you're healing this. And again, this is the an ace. So it's really also here again, a new start, right? And it can be that it goes slowly. It won't happen overnight. It won't happen like all of a sudden. So you're working towards your healing. And it's like the universe is meeting you halfway and giving you something that you've always, always wanted. This could be like a relationship, could be success, creative success, success as well, artistic success. It could be, it's like the, the universe is meeting you halfway right? You are making your effort. You are working on yourself. You have been working on yourself. You have been trying to see the light or come back to the light after a long period of doubt, a long period of darkness, so to say. You're coming back to the light. And again, the universe is meeting you halfway. You get the offer you've been working towards to, and you've been, you'll be getting what you deserve. You'll get the, yeah, rewarded for your efforts and for all that you have been experiencing. This is really beautiful. Let's see what the other cards have to say. We have Kiss from a Rose, number nine. Then we have number 41, Superior Sight or Vision, Superior Vision. And then we have number 30, Revelation. With this kiss from a rose, it's again about blessings, you being blessed. And you see here, um, how do you call it in English? I forgot the word, but it usually symbolizes money, symbolizes luck. Again, you being kissed by lady luck, by lady fortune. And it's like, and here with the rose, it's really telling you that you deserve it. This is something that you deserve. This is not something that, you know, is being aleatory, just like it happens or just a coincidence. No, this is something you've really been working towards. And it's also here with the superior vision. And you see like this girl riding this owl. It's like you've been really working hard to keep your vibration high, to feel positive, to really heal the past and let go of any negativity. And again, when the moment you do this, you let this energy in. This is when you heal completely and the universe flows through you. And all the things that you've been longing for, that kind of felt like a barrier or an obstacle between your wish and its manifestation, suddenly it just happens. So you're on your right track. You know, it's like the cards are telling you, just hanging there, things will get better soon. Just hanging there. The universe will meet you halfway. You have now a second chance. You are being, like I said, kissed by Lady Luck. Then we have here, change perspective. And this is, again, what you're seeing here with the superior vision. This is what I meant. You know, you're changing your attitude. You're changing your energy. You, you're more aware of it. You are choosing the way you feel, the way you want to feel. So you probably you're not even accepting, um, you know, being surrounded by people that put you down. You know, people that just seem to be aiming, feeding off your energy and get you down like then <laughs> every opportunity possible. And so you are being responsible for your energy, for the way you think you're being, you're taking responsible for your own luck. 
and then you'll be rewarded for that. There you go. Then we have determination. So you're focused, you know what you want, and you are working towards this. And you will get what you need. And you're not afraid to face hardships. And this is what you've been going through, hardships and setbacks. That was the word I was looking for. You know, you're not afraid of it. You can face it head high. And again, it's like you have the sun with you, inspiring you. So you're really strong. You're very, very strong. And you have a very high uh, standard of integrity. And you're very faithful to your own values and to those people, to the people that you admire and love. And then we have... Oh, that's how do... I'm thinking in German, Sprossen. Uh, how you call this when the plant is germinating, you know, but it's like, again, a new beginning. There's a new beginning. There's a new chance of life. It's like you are given a new life, you know, like a, um, a computer game uh, or a video game where you then get a, a life. This is really, you're getting a life. You're getting your true life and you're starting over and everything is possible. So this is your abundance coming your way. This is your blessing. You're starting over and everything is possible and you can make your dreams come true. So pile number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. If you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description box below as well as the link to my Instagram account. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps the channel. Thank you. You have a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So what is the abundance? What kind of abundance is coming your way? Or in what area of your life is abundance coming? Let's find out. So let's start. The first card is more or less the area of your life that abundance will be coming in. And it's called, this card is called the secret, number 25. And you see these two like lovers and something is being kept secret, you know, or even illicit. You know, it seems like a bit almost wrong, but they seem very, very happy. But uh, what we get from here is like these two people. Um, there's something in your life. It doesn't have to do necessarily with love but something in your life that has been kept secret and maybe it's now time to make it known to come out um, in the open with it with all the risks and consequences but because these are blessings and abundance so this is something that will make you very happy this is something that will be for your best something that it has been kept secret and then you're coming out with this truth but let's see what other what the other cards have to say. So this from the Lenormand deck. We have number 22. These are the paths. Then we have number five, the tree. Okay. Then we have number 13, the child. And we now have number 36, the cross. So this may even have to do with the, with the pregnancy right that you know you haven't told anyone about it yet because you're afraid of like you know telling it too early and then if something happens you have to deal with all the opinions of all the people so um it has to do can can have to do with the pregnancy for some of you but this is the decision that you have to make here if you see the paths you can go left or you can go right so this is a decision that you have to make a decision that maybe will change your life forever but here with the tree the tree is about foundation it's also about health right so maybe what the blessing is coming it's like it's again here with the child and the tree. I see this as healing and here with the cross can be healing of a disease. This could also be like for some of you, please take it as it resonates, that you're starting a new treatment and you are healing something about your health, right? And this is actually a very good sign. But the thing is, when you come back to this secret, there can be a secret here 
and it's time to take a new perspective on this theme because this secret is weighing you down and it's time you know to come out in the open probably if you decide to do this because we have here the card of decision in order to make it official in order to like start anew you know, instead of just being in the shadows the whole time. And this, like I said, it could be a relationship, could be a pregnancy, could even be a talent of yours, could be something that you've been pursuing, um, hidden from everyone. But now you feel that it's time, you know, to show your work to the other people. But to be sure of this meaning, let's see what the other cards, tarot cards have to say. We have here the Queen of Wands. Oops, let's get this through it. There you go. Then we have Temperance. Then we have the Six of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups. Yeah. It's like you have been patient a long time. Some of you too, it has this really to do with a man. With a man, it could be a lover could be a married man, could be a situationship, could be, you know, something. And and it's been a long, long time and maybe you even have children together and it's been a long time and you want the next step and you want to heal something here between you here with the tree and the temperance is all about healing. But of course, a tree also takes time to grow and temperance is all about patience. And I think you've been very, very patient about the situation has been a long time and again maybe you have children take it as resonates and it's time and it's like this man usually doesn't want to settle down and you're the one who probably wants to settle down and so this other person doesn't want to settle down is looking away but now is the time to make a decision and I think this person will make that decision this person will um you will come to this compromise temperance is also about compromise and it's like honoring the past honoring your history honoring what has been you know going on between you two and the the king of cups is very fair is very loving and it doesn't run away from compromise right so this is someone who honors their feelings this is someone who honors the um, the contract, even soul contract, right? And so what I see here is really like, again, a secret coming out to the open or straightening uh, a situation, right? Something that has been just casual or a kept light. Now it will come the next step, right? And we have a queen and a king. So they work together. Interesting. Let's see what the other cards have to say. We have done Roots of Abundance. Again, Roots, Tree. So there's a really strong foundation here. When whatever situation you may be, it's like it's a strong foundation and you're ready. There's, you know, to, to trust that it will hold, to trust that it will work. Because the roots are there and they're really, really strong and they're very abundant. Then we have number 33 with ears wide open. This beautiful fox here. And we have number 11 in perfect harmony. With ears wide open and with the fox. A fox is always about being clever. But here with ears wide open is like, you know, listen to the music. Listen to what's really going on. And be aware not in a in a menacing way but be present to what is really going on and i think the music is changing so what has been kept secret is now it's time or has been kept light now it's time to start taking it more seriously and in perfect harmony it's like this will work right and we have 33 we have 11 we have two so these are numbers that are actually very synchronistic and these are like telling us it will work. It will work because now it's the right time. You've been waiting for a long time like we were seeing earlier. You've been waiting for a long time, but now is the right time to change this. So the next year, 
because I was uh, felt inspired to do this by the rising of Sirius that uh, marks the new Egyptian year, especially ancient Egyptian year. So the next year, things will start to be more balanced and things will start to be fairer and you will get the respect, you will get the acknowledgement and recognition and also the, the open affection, the public affection that you deserve. But keep your ears open. Like the tune is changing, it's getting better, it's going your way. So the other cards, we have knowledge and we have awakening. Again, what we, what we have here is really, you are ready. You are ready. You have the knowledge. You know what you have to do. You have this strong foundation. Like I said, this could be a love relationship, could be career, could be a talent, could be a hobby, doesn't matter. It's like you have that. The foundation is already there. The knowledge is there. You are ready. You know, you've already researched, you already studied, you already prepared, you are ready. And now it's time to awaken. Now it's time, you know, to cross that threshold and to take a risk and go for it and go for what you love. Without doubt, without thinking, oh, maybe another time now. The time is now. This is what we're getting here. And you have two red dragons and they're beautiful. So it's all about this passion. So this is about something you're really passionate about. Again, could be something like music, because we have here this uh, music symbol here. So it could be, for some of you, I'm getting like singing, and um, you've been keeping this secret, or just for yourself, or make, maybe even recording just for yourself. But now it's time to go. It's time to bite that apple, you know, and go for it. Take the apple and go for it. And I know it's usually temptation, Adam and even so, but apple is also the, the symbol of passion, right? So take that bite and follow your passion. Really beautiful. And then we have number five, butterflies. And butterflies are always the symbol of transformation. So your life is transforming and for the better. This is a decision that you have to make, though. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a decision you have to make. To go forward and do what you love. And it could be... <coughs> Sorry for this. I got something in my throat. And it could be that this is something you've always wanted to do since you were a child. Because we have the child and the six of cups. So this could be a passion that you've had since you were a child... You always dream to be, for instance, a musician or, you know, an artist or an astronaut, whatever the case. And now you have the possibility of doing this. You're ready. You have what it takes. And now you can go and do it. This is quite beautiful. Also in a relationship, you know, it's transforming. It's getting that higher ground. It's getting like... Um, more committed engagement from both of you. So pile number two, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. If you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description box below, as well as the link to my Instagram account. And um, yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe. That would help the channel a lot. And I wish you a, a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So what abundance blessings are coming your way? We're going to see in what area of your life these blessings are coming in. So let's start. And the first card is work. So, okay, that's quite, you know, like direct. So it's the blessings will come in the area of work, of career and finances. So I have your Lenormand, Lenormand cards. Let's see what they say. We have 20. This is the garden or the park. 
go. Then we have the ship number three. Then we have the coffin number eight. And we have the letter number 27. That's funny. You know what I get here? It's like things are going to progress when something ends, right? Um, or you get the news of something ending here with a letter. But it's like you are... Things will get better when you move away from a loss. Could be a loss of a job, could be a loss of a promotion, money, an opportunity. But the moment you like you move away from it, or maybe you even move countries to find better job or better perspective, and things will get a lot better. And you're getting a message concerning this. So it's like you're getting an opportunity that goes around a loss. So for some of you, this could even be that you're getting um, inheriting something, some money, um, or someone quit their job. And you can get that position or someone is retiring. It doesn't have to be death per se, but something is ending. And the message will get you on your way for better days, for better opportunities. But let's see what we have here with the tarot cards. We have here the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords, uh, the End of Doubt, look. And then we have the, the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Yeah, so opportunity is coming your way. You know, and I see here the End of Doubt. There's a message because the, the Knight can also be the deliverer of messages. So there's a message coming your way, right? And this will lead to a lot of happiness. This is because the Ten of Cups is really the happy end. There is balance coming your way. New opportunities in money when it comes to finances. So you're going to get money. You're going, people, it's like a inheritance. This could be a inheritance because the Ten has to do, Ten of Cups has to do with family, right? So it could be an inheritance. Could be that uh, someone offers you money, for instance, or um, invests money in your business. But money is coming in and it brings balance to your life. And here with the two of swords, you, say you really have to make a decision about a career move, about money. But you're getting a message. You're getting shown the way of how to do this. Yeah. And the 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 night of wands is also about traveling and being passionate and really following your passion, doing what you love and just going for it. Not even thinking about it. You just go for it. And it has to do with traveling, you know, and trying your luck, following your star. Let's see what the other cards have to say. Then we have here number 34. Available for discovery. So this for me has to do with travel. You know, you discovering other landscapes, other horizons. Then we have smoke and mirrors, number 42. And then we have the muse, number 31. Well, the smoke and mirrors here, this is interesting because this could really be the two of swords and the coffin. And I think that's the end of it. Right. It's something that, you know, has been a bit shady, a bit confusing. At first, you cannot really see what it is, but you're trying your luck. Anyhow, you are following the, the song or the singing of the muse. You're following your passion. You're following your inspiration. Even if it's a bit shady at the beginning, even if you don't know exactly what you're doing, even if you don't have any, any guarantees, but you will follow your gut, you will follow your passion, you will do what is right for you. 
but here with the smoke and mirrors and all this i would say this is little red flags so do it you're going to be successful but again like i usually say in these cases really read the small print ask the right questions in order to be on the safe side nevertheless mm -hmm. but it's a lot of creativity here it's a lot of spreading your wings discovering new horizons so there's travel here following your passion just make sure that you have enough guarantees you know to put your mind at ease and to yeah to feel safe what else then we have rest and then we have research again this is what i was telling you you if you get uh, like a, an offer that may sound too good to be true it doesn't mean that it is too good to be true but you should do some research again to ask the right questions read the small print in order to be on the safe side but here's also rest and this could be also with the coffin so the coffin doesn't have to be immediately just death but you need a break because you're doing a lot and maybe your life is a, a whirl of of information a world of events a world of events right now and it can be a bit too much so please make sure that you are resting make sure you are taking care of yourself and then we have number three three monkeys and this has to do with the two of swords funnily enough the two of swords she's usually blindfolded and she cannot make that decision so actually she can she's just like forced to listen to her heart and here with the three monkeys what i say is really again listen your to your heart before you speak don't let you know careful with the singing of the muse could be the singing of the sir uh, sirens as well so it's like follow your own intuition careful with smooth talking right and before you say yes do your research again to for you to feel on the safe side for you to know that it's really worth it you're going to have many many blessings but there's like a detail there that you really have to pay attention to and the cards would like you to follow that to um, be attentive because the devil does hide in the details so please be careful and it's also like to stop being blind to your own need of fulfillment to your own inner passion to your own calling and again listen to your heart and follow where it leads because there's a lot of success coming your way and a lot of new opportunities yeah so pile number three this was your reading I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact is in the description box below, as well as the link to my Instagram account. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps the channel. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you.